Chris Montana hasn't been back to his former high school in more than a decade. He just feels very much like a son to me that I didn't have. Louise Borman, also known as Frida, this has to be Pippin, was his former theater teacher. Now, just a mile down the road in South Minneapolis sits Denord Social Spirit, the first black owned distillery in the country that Chris started with his wife. Why here? I used to walk past this space on my way to high school. And as a kid, I didn't have any concept of being a business owner. Chris's mom struggled, and soon he was out on his own. I didn't have a, a, a home per se, but I was just couch surfing and you know sleeping in folks' basements. Things turned around, starting with the support of a friend's family. They said, well, why don't you stay here for a few weeks? And then a few weeks became, why don't you stay here like through the year, through high school? And then I was formally adopted. He would go on to pursue a career in politics and law, but had a passion for brewing beer. So how does distilling come into the picture? I had half of the equation with brewing, and then the other half, I had a lot of help learning on the distilling side. He soaked up the knowledge, learned the science, and built a groundbreaking business in an industry where very few people looked like him. In 2015, I went to my first distillers conference, walked in, I was the only black guy in the room. Today, roughly 50% of Denord staff are people of color. I look for good people first, and then we build those good people. An approach that came into greater focus when George Floyd was murdered just blocks away. It's not pretty to look at, but it's it's our turning point. During the unrest, part of the warehouse went up in flames, but a renewed mission rose from the ashes. We see ourselves as part of social change. Philanthropy became the fuel to heal a community. Right next door, a food bank, which evolved into a foundation that fosters diverse entrepreneurship. I want to prove the business model. If you as a company invest in your community in a way that may not make you any money, that it will come back to you. Delta Airlines even taking notice, selling to Nord 35,000 feet in the air. Did you ever catch a flight and order one of your drinks? Absolutely. <laughs> and for people like Frida, who helped him take flight, a spirit named after her. You were a huge influence in my life and at a time when I absolutely needed, I needed a Frida, <laughs> and you were there. I mean, things could have taken a much different direction. Oh, yes. He's aware of that. He made very good choices for somebody who didn't have options. I had someone ask me uh, the other day, do you feel like you're a self-made man? And the answer is absolutely not. I was pulled out of a number of situations by people around me. I'm in a better place, but I know what got me here. For today, Kathy Park, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Well, he is extraordinary and talk about everything he's accomplished in his own right. And he's paying it forward, not only through his diverse staff, but to his community. I like the strategy that he has. He says his approach is hiring good people, just yeah. finding people who want to help him help make a difference. Yeah. That's definitely the Minnesota spirit on display there, I can say, as a minute. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.